we wanted to help these incredibly talented designers to take their businesses to the next level through marketing. You have to have a certain voice and you have to have something that separates you. For someone to say in one image, one page, one time, define who you are as a designer, what you want to say as a brand, that's an amazing challenge. We have a role to play in supporting young talent. If we don't cultivate the next generation design, nobody else is going to. And one thing that was very clear is that marketing, branding, advertising is confusing to people. These designers are amazing designers already. They've got the design part right. But there was nobody there to really help them with their marketing. Kate Spade New York has such a unique voice. You know, the humor, the wit, the culture. It's such a great platform on which to do beautiful work. As a brand, we're really known for our marketing, so we felt like we could offer them a tremendous amount of experience and expertise. We gave them kind of a marketing 101, so they came in for seven weeks and each week was dedicated to a specific subject matter so that they could at least understand that they could really grow their brand to the next level. With so many designers and so many brands out there now, I think creating that stamp that people can see your dress on someone and, and know it's yours is very important. Having a vision and a point of view beyond just designing a dress or a pair of pants is not a new thing. What is new is all the different outlets that you can get that vision out there now. It's an interesting moment because you have access to things like social media, so you can get your name out there much more quickly. But at the same time, the challenges have kind of grown as well because you're expected to have a really kind of strong and coherent voice much earlier on. When we started our business five years ago, we didn't even know what Twitter was. So, and that was only five years <laughs> ago. It's easy for any one of us to sign up for any social media, but the effective use of that is important. And I think that the program brought some definition into the do's and the don'ts. We also tried to cover a, a big range of options as far as budget, educate them on all of their options and figure out for them at whatever point they are in their business and whatever point they are in their budget, what they can actually achieve. One of the questions on the application for this program was, what is your marketing budget? That made me laugh because it's like, we don't have a marketing budget. The prize wouldn't be the same for everybody. Not everyone actually was ready for a page in Vogue. So all the building blocks to get to that point had to be so valuable to them so that they could take it and implement it wherever they are in their business. If it's a $2,000 marketing budget, if it's a $50,000 marketing budget, what can they do? I knew that we were going to have a lot of information sort of thrown at us. What I didn't realize is how interactive it was going to be. It almost felt like group therapy for designers. Things you never really take the time to sit down and really analyze and, and to put into words what is sort of the essence of my brand. One of the people giving the seminar said, well, I feel like you know, you know exactly who your customer is. You just have to now commit to it and you have your brand. The moment that I realized that I was able to visually communicate it and through words communicate it, that to me made me feel like, wow, it's really been, been worth the time. That one sentence to define your whole brand is really big and this project kind of wrapped our minds around it. And we really use that moving forward, how we speak about the brand. It's not just about winning the challenge, it's about all the things that we're going to take away from this.